On today's show, we're going to talk about updating your software on your new AVH radio. So stay tuned. All right, so periodically you have to update the software on your radio. So we're going to walk you through it real quick. So let's get to it. First thing you're going to want to do is go to Pioneer's website, pioneerelectronics.com. Next, you're going to come over here, go to car, pick your device. So in this case, we have a DVD receiver. Click on that. Scroll to the bottom of the page. Pick the radio that you have. So in this case, we're going to work with a 3800. So come over here, click on the 3800. Now scroll up. Over here you have firmware and software. Go ahead and click on that. And then what you'll see come across is the current firmware. In this case, 8.15. It's a free. And you're going to click here to update. Click agree. And then, of course, it's going to ask you, you want to open, save, or save as. Go ahead and click save. That way it won't accidentally get lost. And then sit back and enjoy the ride. Now, once it's uploaded, they all pretty much have the same abbreviation. You're going to drag this file onto your thumb drive. So you just drag this over onto the the thumb drive that you have loaded in the computer. Okay, so once you're done playing with the whole download it, transfer it over to a thumb drive, you're going to end up with a thumb drive like this with a update on it. Now, the trick is is to test the thumb drive to see if it works before you do the, all that nightmare there. Because depending on how fast your internet is and your computer, it could take anywhere between 15 minutes to 2 hours to get to this point. Okay? So, before you upload it on here, just plug it in and see if it highlights the little USB icon oh, that is right here. Make sure it's not grayed out. Make sure it actually turns on. Because if you don't have a compatible USB, then this adds to the frustration of trying to do the update. Again. Again. And sometimes these updates can take a while to go from the zip file to the uncompressed. And so, trust me, test it first. But if you're successful and you get to this point, what you're going to do is plug it in. So let's get to that. Now these radios all come with USB extensions. So you just plug it into the USB extension. Okay. Go ahead and hit home. Hit AV. Hit source off. So you see this screen right here. Come over here and hit the gears. Scroll to the bottom of the page. Hit system information. Hit firmware update. Click continue. Okay, it's going to give you a cool little warning. Click start. Now, make sure you're doing this in a place where the battery will not go dead. These can take a little while because so we're going from 8.7 to 8.15. Ooh. Okay, so we're going to time lapse this up. So here we go. Okay, so once you're at this point, go ahead and disconnect the USB. The radio is going to go black. Now, this is where people start to get all panicky. Don't panic. Just let it do its thing. Don't turn the key off. Don't do anything. Just sit there and wait. And there you go. So that was actually about two, maybe three minutes it took to do that update of black screen. So I know a lot of people are sweating that whole time, so don't worry about it. It'll eventually pop back up. All right, so that's the software update. It's at that. We're, we're done. 
it's cool it's all ready to go now keep in mind when you do a software update the radio forgets everything so if you had any cool crossover eq time correction any of that stuff backgrounds doesn't matter it's going to erase it all so if there was something you don't want to lose like let's say you spend an hour doing time correction take pictures of it so that you'll be able to go in now and put it back in now if you want to make sure that the uh, software uh, if you want to make sure that the software update took real simple bang through all this go here it, well actually it just said it did but you can scroll up go to system information firmware information and you'll see the new firmware so there you go it was that hard i understand this can be a bit stressful it was for us the first I don't know, the first time, but now that we've done it about a million times, it seems like every radio that comes out needs a software update or two or three or four. So it's become old hat. You'll get used to it. Hopefully you won't have to do it too many times. But the nice thing about it is it does bring benefit back to the radio. In this case, it freed up a problem that they were having with an iPod and Spotify. So if you were having those problems, it's fixed now. Yay! <laughs> and if you weren't, then mm, good. <laughs> Either way, it's a bonus. Um, yeah, cool. And right, so thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And as usual, have a great night. If you have any questions or comments or whatever, feel free to leave them in the bottom and we'll get back to you. Otherwise, good night. Bye. I'm Oliver Dirty. See you later. Go home. Oh, you are home. Never mind. <laughs>